Hey guys, and welcome back to a new video. In this video, I will show you how we can build widgets for our home screen in Android using Jetpack Compose with the new Glance API. So specifically what you will build is we will be able to long click on our home screen here, click on widgets, and then add such a widget here by long clicking on that and then dragging this to our home screen, which is a simple increment counter, which you can re uh, resize as we like. And yeah, that is what we'll build. If we click on increment, then we can yeah, increment that as often as we like. So it is a stateful widget. And this code will be written in Compose since there is a yeah, quite new dependency we can use for that, which is called Glance, which is still in alpha at the moment. So um, the functionality of this is still a little bit limited, what you can do, but it still looks very promising to build such widgets with Jadpick Compose. So let's jump into this project here. This is an empty Material 3 app I, um, I created here. And in your build at Gradle file, you need to first of all add these Glance dependencies. So on the one hand, Glance and Glance app widget. Currently, it's an alpha 05. Maybe there is a newer version available when you watch this. But if you encounter problems, then it's probably probably makes sense to use alpha 05 as well. And what we need to do for this is we need to create a new class, which represents our widget. So in our root package, we want to call this counter widget. This widget won't take any constructor arguments, so we can uh, safely make it on uh, an object. And it needs to inherit from glance app widget. So this is how we define an object or a class as a widget that is built with Compose. You see uh, that we need to implement some functions here, which is actually just one function, which is this content function. This content function is actually composable, which isn't auto-completed here for some reason. So let's add this composable annotation and the error will go away. And in this content function, we can now write the code that defines the layout of our widget. However, this is not exactly the composed code we know. There are some changes and limitations, which you will see in a moment. But in the end, we just want to have a column here to display our counter text, so the current count, on top of our button to increment that. And when creating this column, we already see that there is a difference. And that is that the modifier for this column is not a normal modifier of Compose anymore, but it is a glance modifier. And all these widgets work with these uh, limited glance modifiers. So we need to not set this to modifier dot something, but rather glance modifier dot background, for example, to set the background color to color, color gray, for example, and fill max size, something like this. I will put this before. Um, so this stuff is exactly the same as before, but we don't have access to all the modifiers we have with the normal compose. But I assume they will add some more in future. And we also want to make sure that we center our content vertically. So uh, center vertically and horizontally like this. Inside here, we want to be able to, on one hand, display a text. And here it's now important that you import the right one because there is glance specific text and a normal compose text, which you can't use here. So the glance text is this one here. So you can see and what X glance of text. This is the one we want to import. And the text is in the end, just our counter. Um, we don't have the state yet. So let's just set this to zero and hard code this for now. But we want to change the style and the appearance of our text a little bit. So we can say style is a text style. Font weight, let's say that's medium. We can set the color. We need to set this to color provider for some reason. But here we can then pass our white. And I'll set the font size to 26 SP. Import SP, Alt Enter. And then below this text, we want to add our button. And again, here we need to make sure that we import the right one. Uh, this is the normal compose button, but we want the glance button. Mm. Not sure where that is. Good question. There's uh, actually here. There are two buttons. Um, we want the previous one. So this one here from Android X Glance. Double click on that. And the text on this, of this button will simply be increment. And what's also different to normal buttons is that on click now expects an action and not a simple callback anymore. The reason is that our app isn't actually active or doesn't need to be active when the user clicks this button. So we need to use some kind of special callback mechanism here, which I will get to in a moment. Before I will comment this out though, 
um, because I want to show you how we can now have state in this because that also works a little bit different. So in here, we want to get access to our actual count, which is a state in the end, and that can be retrieved with current state. And you can see we need to pass a preferences key. So the way this Glens API works is that under the hood, it works together with data store, so our preference storage. And every time we change the state, it's updated in the preferences to then reflect on the widget. And for this key, we need to add this here to our counter widget. So that is our count key. And that is an int, uh, int preferences key, which we simply call count. And that is just the, the type of class that uh, data store works with. We can then pass it here count key and if that doesn't exist we just set it to zero by default we can then say here for our text that we simply show this count that to string and now let's get to this button to implement this on click action and for that we actually need to create a separate class which we can do below here it can be an object again called increment action callback and that is of type action callback and in here we need to implement um, on action. This function is called when we click on the button then, and it gives us access to the context, the glance ID, so which widget that is, and some parameters we could optionally pass here. So if we need some data um, inside of this on action block, which will then be triggered. And in here, what we can do is we can say, we want to update the app widget state. Um, so we in the end just want to update our count state, passing in our context and our glance ID. And then opening a Lambda block, here we get access to mutable preferences. So in the end, that is nothing else than our data store instance, where we can now update the value of our account so it will reflect on the widget. So the current count is prefs at the uh, with the key of counter widget dot count key. And if that current count is not null, so if it exists, if we already saved something, we just want to take our prefs with a counter widget that count key and we're going to set this to current count plus one so we just increment that else however if that doesn't exist yet so in the, in the first try to update this we set this simply to one so the first increment will just set this to one and then the value exists so on the next time we just increment it by one and after we updated the state we also need to tell the widget that we did that and we do this by saying counter widget that update passing in the context and the glance id and then this will also reflect on the widget then we can scroll up and use this callback in our button which i will uncomment again oops not that uh, i mean this uh, this this and on click will now be an action action run callback and you can see there are more types of actions you could use here you could also send a broadcast to a broadcast receiver you could start an activity when the user clicks this um, we just want to execute something here in a callback so action run callback which will be an increment action callback in this case double colon class java to receive these we still need a special kind of broadcast receiver which you can create here so class um, i call this simple counter widget receiver which is a glance app widget receiver and all we need to do here is we need to override the um, glance app widget variable which is simply the widget we want to show so our counter widget so far so good we now defined how our widget looks like and what it is able to do but we still need to define some metadata so um, we actually find this in our widget tab when we long click on the home screen and we do that with an XML file in our RAS folder, RAS XML. Right click XML resource file, and I'll call this counter widget info. And the root element won't be a preference screen, but rather an app widget provider. Clicking OK. And in here, um, we can remove this piece of code and define everything in here. So here we just define the basic information, like the description, for example. Um, so what will display for that specific widget. That needs to be a string resource. Um, I'll just use the app name here just as a demo. We can define a min width, for example, for this, which I will use 50 dp for. I will say a uh, min height, actually, 50 dp. We can define something like the resize mode. So if we can only resize this horizontally, only vertically, um, or both, 
or even not at all. So let's say you want to be able to resize it as we want. So we say horizontal and vertical. I want to say that the widget category is for our home screen. There's some more details you could uh, configure here. For example, max resize width. So um, how much you can resize this uh, in width and height. You could provide an initial layout, um, which is provided by the composable already. But this preview layout is something you would need to provide with an XML layout. And that is the preview you just saw um, here when we long click little demo. Um, so if we long click widgets, this thing here. So if you want this to look like something like for this clock, for example, you would need to provide an XML layout for this, sadly. But as soon as you drag this on your home screen, it will actually uh, look like this. Okay. Um, that's actually the uh, minimum information we need here. Last but not least, we need to go to our manifest and kind of register this widget. So below this activity, we want to register our receiver we specified, the simple counter widget receiver. We also want to set export to true so uh, that any app can send these broadcasts here. And then specify an intent filter where we pass the action name and paste this piece of code. So this is the type of action we want to receive. This will be called from yeah, the glance API in the end and sent to our broadcast receiver when the widget needs to be updated. And for the metadata, we can define this here. Um, or actually instead of one block. On the one hand, the name is our XML. Uh, oh no, that is the resource. For the name, we want to refer to android.appwidget.provider. And the information for this is provided by the resource XML. What, what did I call it? Um, yeah, we need to probably paste this here. At XML slash counter widget info like this. And if we now launch this, uh, this should be everything. Hopefully it compiles and builds. And then we should be able to see our app here. This of course comes from our old app. I'll remove the widget very quickly. And I get a duplicate class issue. I know why that is happening. Um, you might not get that. Uh, but that is caused because I have the wrong composed version. Need to update this compiler to 1.4.2. And this one here as well, and also the Kotlin version 2.8.1.0. I had that multiple times, but this time I forgot to update that before. So let's quickly sync, rebuild and launch. There we go. Here's our empty app. Of course, nothing uh, the app is doing right now because we only build a widget. But if we now long click, go to widgets, then we see widget with compose. This is our new app. If we open this, we can long click, put it on our home screen, and there we go. Looks exactly like before. We can resize it as we want. And if we click this button, then, oh, we get an issue here. Um, what is it? Um, the increment callback is not accessible from our run callback. That's interesting. So doesn't it work at all? Okay. Also, if we resize it, then no. Okay, uh, I will need to look into that and get back when I fix it. Okay, apparently Glance wants this increment action callback to be a class since it tries to create an instance of this which doesn't work with an object. So let's replace this, relaunch the app. Take a look here and if we now click increment, yes, now that is actually working. Very cool. So we have a working widget. So I hope you enjoyed this video. If so, you will definitely also enjoy my more advanced Android premium courses, which you can find all down below. I have courses about CICD, multi-module, web sockets, testing, KMM, all these advanced stuff that you need in the Android industry nowadays. So if that sounds good to you. Click the first link and check these out. And apart from that, I wish you an amazing rest of the week and see you back in the next video. Bye bye.